2004 Miami Hurricanes had six players taken in round one of the draft. That is a record. Alabama and LSU both have over under odds of five and a half players to be taken in round one. So if you go over by that point five, you're at six and you match the 2004 Hurricanes. Who's more likely to do it, Chris, Alabama or LSU? Uh, I think I look at Alabama probably more likely to do it if they were going to break the record, right? I could see all six of those guys. I don't know if the running back from LSU goes in the first round, but I look at Alabama and go Tua, Judy, Ruggs, Wills, uh, Trayvon Diggs, Xavier McKinney, I think all have really, really great chances of going in the first round. They're going to go in the first round is what I'm saying. And then you have a guy like Terrell Lewis, who's a first round talent, but had some injury issues in his college career. So he'll be borderline. And I think a guy you did the interview with the other day, Mike, Raekwon Davis, I think he goes somewhere between 20 and 32. So I'm going to take Alabama. I look at Raekwon Davis and see like a guy like Muhammad Wilkerson or Richard Seymour, that type of specimen. I have a hard time thinking he doesn't get picked in the first round either. So I, my money's on Bama if it does get broken. Well, and it just makes you, when you see that many great players headed for the draft, it makes you wonder why the team didn't do better last year. But we've seen that from time to time with teams far less accomplished. Remember when there was a, there was a stretch when North Carolina State was like a first-round draft pick factor? And it's like, how in the heck did North Carolina State not have a better team? When Les Miles was a coach at LSU, when you think of all the talent they had and the guys who went on to become first-round picks, it's like, how did they not do better as a team when he was there? So there's really not a strong correlation, not as strong as you would think. Either way, Alabama and LSU among the best programs in the country and not a surprise that both of them are in contention to tie Miami. You don't think anybody's going to get the seven, do you? This is just a matter of tying Miami at six. I, I think it is. I, I, just, I look at it. Mm, I think there could get to seven. I think I do think Alabama could get to seven when I look at the overall list. I think a little bit's going to be dependent on, like I said, Raekwon Davis and Trevon Diggs. Uh, uh, but yeah, I think there's a chance, Mike. I do because I think Wills, Tua, McKinney, Judy, Rugg are all going to go in the first round for sure. I think Diggs goes in the first round too, and then it becomes one of those pa the pass rusher Lewis or Raekwon Davis for that last spot. Hey, and when all else fails, I think the bottom line is no offseason program this year going to require a lot of self-discipline. Those guys from Alabama are more likely to have the self-discipline no based doubt. upon their time working with Nick Saban. Maybe that breaks the top. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.